If you've just watched the module on system requirements, you know that Asterisk can run on most common hardware platforms, and that we'll focus in this course on using Asterisk with Linux. You'll need to already have Linux installed on the system you'll use. If you need more information on how to install Linux, we recommend you check out the links in the Attachments tab. Asterisk, like most other software applications, is reliant on the functionality of other applications and libraries. In this module, we will go over some of the most common packages that need to be installed prior to installing Asterisk. We'll also show you how to use YUM, the package manager for the popular CentOS and Fedora Linux distributions, to resolve these dependencies. Finally, we'll show you how to verify that all dependencies have been met in order to move forward with your Asterisk installation. Asterisk may require dozens of different software packages to be loaded on the system before it can be installed. While it's possible to manually install each individual package, this is often time-consuming and inefficient. Fortunately, there is an easier way to do this. Most modern Linux distributions come with a powerful tool called a Package Manager. This is a simple one-stop shop for downloading and installing software packages. For the most part, you'll want to use the Package Manager that comes with the Linux distribution you're using. Here's a list of package managers for several common distributions. For this course, we'll be using the CentOS distribution and the YUM package manager. The command used to install a specific package is YUM install followed by the package name. It is trivial to install dependencies using this command if you already know the name of the package you'd like to install. The difficulty arises when you don't know the exact package name. Package names also differ depending on the package manager or distribution you are using. To help find the exact name you are looking for, you can use the command yum search followed by the package name. Each package manager has a similar command. If you're not familiar with your package manager and need more information about its available commands, you can issue the command man followed by the name of the package manager to review the manual for that tool. When issuing the search option, YUM will be less strict about the naming convention and will show you a list of packages that closely match what you're looking for. For the sake of completeness and reducing the chance of missing dependencies, it would be prudent to install any package from this list that seems closely related to the one you require. In our example, you would install the packages newt, newt-devel, and newt-perl. Here, we've also added the dash y flag to YUM. This tells it to install each of these packages without prompting us. The first set of packages we need to ensure are present on our system are the basic build tools necessary to compile anything written in the C programming language. These don't have any special relationship to Asterisk, they're just there to turn the raw source code of Asterisk into executable binaries. This set includes gcc, make, glibc devel and autoconf or auto tools. GCC is responsible for compiling the source code, while make is used for initiating the compiling. glibc-devel is a library of standard functions for C programs, and autoconf will generate the configuration scripts for building. These all have their own dependency requirements, but yum usually installs them automatically. Pay attention to yum's output. It will often tell you the names of those dependencies if it doesn't install them automatically. The next set of dependencies are related to the asterisk package requirements. Although asterisk can be built successfully without these packages, they are basic to a typical asterisk install. These packages include openssl-devel, zlib-devel, and ncurses-devel. openssl-devel is a cryptography toolkit used for security. zlib-devel is a library for data compression and decompression. ncurses-devel is a library for terminal handling and is used when you are building Asterisk using the Menu Select tool. Menu Select is a tool to help you build Asterisk and its modules. It helps you when you're trying to troubleshoot dependency resolution while compiling Asterisk. You will hear more about Menu Select later in this module and learn where it fits in the build process in the Installation from Source module. Dotty is used to control our telephony hardware and will need to be installed before Asterisk if your system is going to utilize any Digium hardware. If you plan on having a VoIP-only asterisk system, Dottie isn't required, but it is best practice to install it anyway. That way, if you want to add telephony hardware to your system in the future, you won't have to rebuild asterisk first. Dottie only requires a couple of packages to be installed prior to its own installation. The two we need are libnewt, which is a C library for text screen widgets, and the kernel development headers, 
which include the C header files for the Linux kernel. The command yum search newt should be sufficient to find that package, but the kernel development headers can be more confusing. In the yum package manager, the package is called kernel-headers. It differs in other package managers. For more information on the naming scheme for the kernel headers, see our links in the attachments tab. It's important to get the kernel header package that exactly matches the kernel you're running on the system. Dottie won't compile otherwise. You'll also need to recompile Dottie anytime you change the kernel. The libpri package provided by Digium allows your digital telephony trunks to speak ISDN, PRI, or BRI. If you are not familiar with ISDN, just know for now that it is a telephony signaling protocol and will be discussed in further detail in the analog and digital connectivity chapter. Again, this package is only needed if you have a digital telephony card in your system and want to use ISDN on it. However, we suggest installing libpri anyway. libpri has no unique dependencies. If you can compile dotty and asterisk, you can compile libpri. However, it must be compiled before asterisk in order for asterisk to be able to use it. The goal of this module is to describe the basic process of installing and verifying dependencies. In the next module, entitled Installing Asterisk from Source, we'll show you how to actually install the dependencies we've just described, and how to verify that all of them are resolved. For now, we'll simply look at three methods that you can use to verify dependency resolution. The first method is the yum-c list command. This command verifies that a specific package is installed and up to date. If we wanted to see if GCC was successfully installed, we could issue the command yum capital C list GCC. The second tool you should know about is the dot slash configure dash help command. This command will report back a list of optional packages Asterisk could need. As a best practice, our installation method will require some of these, even though they are optional. Your system may require some of these also. The third and probably most useful tool we'll discuss is Menu Select. Menu Select will generate a list of asterisk modules and display their package requirements. It will also mark the packages that are missing dependencies. Whenever you see a package marked with three X's, highlight it and it will tell you the specific packages needed. The Menu Select tool is covered in more detail in the Installation Options module. In this example, we see that the Codec underscore Speaks module is missing the Speaks and speaks underscore preprocess packages. You should now have a good understanding of the package requirements for your asterisk installation. Additionally, you should have a good grasp on how to use the yum package manager to easily and effectively satisfy those requirements. Finally, we've given you some tools to verify the dependencies have been resolved. There's just one more step to take before we actually install asterisk on our system. Let's take a look at the different installation options asterisk has in the next module installation options.